Hello everyone. Welcome to Edupedia World. Today we are going to study about cell biology part 1 introduction and discovery by me Dr. Aprajita Rao. Hope you enjoy it. What comes in your mind when you first hear the word cell? For some it might be a cell phone and for others it might be a battery cell. But in biology cell means basic building block that makes up all living things. Now you might be thinking how cell a single entity make up all living organisms be it plants or animals. So the answer to your question is just like this brick can make all these houses of different shapes and sizes. Similarly all these cells can make all these living organisms of different shapes and sizes. Mr. George Henry Lewis said a cell is regarded as the true biological atom. A cell is defined as the smallest structural and functional unit of organism which is typically microscopic and consists of cytoplasm and a nucleus or genetic material. So who discovered this cell? It was this man right here Mr. Robert Hooke. In 1665, Mr. Hooke made a microscope from his household items. Pretty interesting. What he did was he made a new technique, a new screw operated focusing mechanism. Before this technique, people had to move the specimen to get the focus because there was not enough light. But because of this technique and this water lens right here, this was his microscope and this water lens right here, he was able to focus most of the light of this oil lamp and hence he was able to see his specimen under the microscope. What he saw next, he published in this book named Micrographia and Mr. Hook, he was just 30 years old and he published the first ever scientific bestseller, the Micrographia. He was a genius. What he did was he saw this cork under the microscope and he saw pores or cells as he said. This is exactly what he saw and published in his book. He saw this honeycomb like pattern and he said cells. He coined the term cells for the first time, very important. The box like cells of cork reminded him of the cells or rooms of the monks in the monastery. Very important is even though Mr. Hooke's microscope was really advanced but it was not advanced enough. He only saw these which are the cell walls. Cell walls are, used, are only present in the plant cells. This will be covered in the further lectures. And because of that, he thought that only plants and fungi have cells. Even though he still described the famous fly's eye which looked like this. He also saw the bee sting under the microscope and said that it had barbs at the end. Then came Mr. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, the father of microbiology. He was inspired by Robert Hooke's micrographia and then started making his own microscope. Mr. Leeuwenhoek actually made around 500 microscopes and 20 of which are still being used today. This was his microscope. Even though it looks small, it is very powerful. This was the specimen holder and this was the lens. Then he saw the protozoa the single cell organism and he called it animacules because it looked like small animals. After that he went crazy and started seeing everything under his microscope including blood cells, fish, birds, frogs, dogs and even human tatter on our teeth. Therefore it was known that cells are found in animals as well as plants. But still the cells were not accepted and nor was the cell theory. Why?